All right, we'll real quickly just get a look at sort of the requirements to be president. Uh, hopefully this is something that you just know, um, stuff that you remember maybe from 10th grade. So um, there are differences between the types of requirements. Um, formal requirements are requirements that are specified in the Constitution, like they're absolutes, like they're mandatory. Think of them as like, it's not an option. Uh, you have to have these uh, characteristics or you have to meet this criteria in order to become president. Informal um, are not requirements, they're not mandatory, but they're like preferred. So the formal requirements um, to be president of the United States are as follows. Um, again, these are the ones that are specified in Article 2, and they're um, absolutes, like they're required. Um, the minimum age is 35, um, so you have to be at least 35 years of age. Um, you know, the average age of American presidents when they're elected is about mid-50s. Um, obviously, the last two presidential elections have seen um, Trump originally as the oldest elected uh, president in American history, um, and then um, now Vice pres uh, President-elect Joe Biden um as being like the the now the new oldest elected president in american history so you gotta be at least 35 years of age you must be a natural born citizen meaning you have to be born in the united states um, this is the only government position that requires you to be a natural born citizen um, to be a member of congress for example you can be born in a foreign country become a u.s citizen and still be elected con to congress but that's not a possibility for president um, you have to be a natural born citizen Obviously, um, your citizenship comes through your parents. So, um, you know, if your parents are on a trip and you're born overseas, you're not disqualified. If you're born in a military base, an embassy, something like that, um, this is really talking about um, someone that would be um, not born in the United States, come to the United States, get their citizenship, um, they'd obviously be disqualified. And then you have to be a resident of the country for the 14 years prior to your election. Um, this just prevents somebody from being completely detached from what's been going on in the United States from ever getting elected. Um, so there are only three like mandatory requirements, but there are lots of like informal requirements. And these are just preferred characteristics that we want to see in our presidents, but they're they're not uh, required. So um, anything that's just a matter of like preference, like I wish my candidates were like this, um, but formal um, qualifications for president have to be met.